Now, this morning I'll be talking about what I tie to battle from the womb. What did I target? Now, remember the theme of this program and say, Oh Lord, don't leave me like this. Am I correct? But we are looking at this morning. We are looking at this morning. Battle from the womb. Now, if you look at our test this morning, Isaac went to the Lord when there was delay and asked God for children and the Lord granted the request. But when the journey of the pregnancy continued, the Bible told us and noticed that they, 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 there was like a fight in her tummy. He went back to the Lord. Are you there? Are you following me this morning? And Isaac entreated of the Lord for his wife because she was buried. And the Lord was and, and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebecca conceived. Now, but if I may even draw the first message there. Do you know Isaac was a product of delay after many years. And Isaac also married. The father experienced delay. He himself also entered marriage and there was delay. One of the things I wanted to see as a person is this. And it has helped me in my life. There are things existing in your family that you need to deal with. Even though God is helping you. Sit down. Why must he deal with those things? If those things didn't fight you now, it may fight you later. If those things didn't fight you, that, that thing may fight your children. Abraham, by the mercy of God, he was able to have Isaac. And Isaac married and there was delay of childbirth. But let's leave there. We're coming there for another time. But what happened now is that this woman carried a child and there was a fight. But there was a prophecy. That verse 23 is the major part I want to talk about this morning. Verse 23. Now let's read together. This is where I want to draw my message now. Verse 23. Are you there with me? And the Lord said unto her, two nations. But there is a word there I don't like. He said the elder. May that never be your portion. Now, did you know if Jacob was made to be a leader of that house, Jacob did not contest for it. Talk to me now. Let's leave the Esau. Esau who happened to be the first. If Jacob happened to be the leader of that house, Jacob did not contest for election. It was God. It's God himself that gave Jacob. That he will be the leader that his brother will serve him. Now look at what I saw there. When I read my script, I discovered that it was Jacob himself who was the head. At last, supposed to have been the head. But something happened that pulled him back. He came out first. One of the prayers I pray for you at this junction is this. What belongs to you will not come late. Now watch this. Jacob was created to be great. God himself told his mother. Now, that time Jacob was still in the womb. God said to Rebekah, you are carrying two nations. Bear it in mind that the younger one is the one that will carry this house. Did Jacob fought for it? Answer me. He was still a baby inside the womb. Now, take note of this. God told the mother about his witness. Yet, he had to play games to become that great. Because Jacob collecting the blessing, you know, he didn't get it. Many people have interpreted this part of the scripture that he didn't get it from the right source. He played game. But the truth is this. If God said you be great, you are going to be great. 
But Jacob was made to be great, but that greatness was with fight. There are many of us, God bless us, but we don't get peace. There are many of us, we are, I, I think I, there, one day, there was a woman I delivered in this house who came to, uh, after the deliverance, I didn't know her. She attended one of our meetings. At that January fasting and prayer. She said, I have made many people happy, but I am not happy. Is it, uh, is it not strange? How, if you have the, if you have happiness for others, you're supposed to give yourself first. But she said to me, said, I have made a lot of people in my ha family happy. He said, but I lack happiness. What happened? Others are married. She's not married. But she has money. She has built house for all of them. And now, guess what? Those people he built house for, they are more happier than her. Because she has spiritual problem. Jacob had to play game for him to get that blessing. Genesis 26, verse 11 to 13. Genesis 26, verse 11 to 13. Verse 11 said, so, 27, 11 to 13. And his mother said, upon me be thy cause, my son, only obey my voice and go and fetch me them. Now, what happened? If you read from verse 1, and the Bible said, the father told, the father told Esau, say, get me food, let me eat, so that I can bless you before I die. But the mother now said to Jacob, he said, I will not be here for your father to bless Esau. I want the blessing to come to you. Jacob told the mother, said, if my father discovered that I played game on him, this blessing will backfire. The mother said, let the curse be on me. One of the prayers we are going to pray now, whatever battle in your life that started right from the womb and never end, that you never get things easy, in these seven days, you must break it. Yeah. There are some people before they marry in a battle, they marry before they born in a battle, they have some money before they build in a battle. Every day story, nothing comes easy. There are people, they have to walk like Jackie before they think... <laughs> So those who even walk like Jackie and they're able to have food on their table, they are even okay. But there are some people, after much work, nothing happened. There are some people, God has blessed them, battle from here, battle from there. There are some people, they are the only one carrying the load of the family. My dear, you need to pray. Because I told, I, in one of the deliverance sections, I, I told some of you here, and I prayed for some people, I said, if you are the one carrying the family, I need to pray for you. Why? Now, what, look at the Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. Least he take advantage of us. Do you know why? You have succeeded. Others did not succeed. You are doing well. You are the one carrying others. My dear, you need to pray more. Don't just say God is blessing me. The power that did stop others and you have the mind to carry them. I've seen where somebody carry family, carry family, the load of family reduce him. Three of us. And then you join their queue again. And that is it. God, every good human being, you cannot get and say you will not give your family members. But at times you see, the team will say, you don't succeed. They say, yeah, they say, we'll be using their load to draw you down. Then you'll be walking and you see you are, you bring, you put here. You bring, you put here. You put here, you put here. You see everywhere battle and yet you are not coming up. Jacob, the mother said, let the curse be upon me. If you read verse Verse 14, right? Talk to me now. And he fetched and brought it to his mother. And his mother made serving meat, such as his father loved. And Rebekah took the godly remnant of her eldest son, Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. That was the only way. Now, do you know what I saw there? There are people, God promised you blessing, but you know, the easy, before the thing will reach your hand, now war. Now, I pass the decree, any war that is any war attached to your blessing, may it end today. <laughs> Nothing comes easy. Marriage, you know, easy. Be 
business too hard. Your health, now you know how you manage your health. So even after you enter the marriage, you still see battle because there is something in your father's house that said you cannot find peace. Battle from the womb. When you started market, how did you start? Now God is helping you. You know God is helping, but you know that it's still not easy. At times, if you don't follow here, you go follow your children, follow your health, follow from here. Battle from left and right. Endless battle. Battle when not they finish. I pray for you, whatever battle that don't refuse to finish, that have kept you in one spot, somebody shout, I break out. Jacob was made to be great. But what was after him want to kill the greatness? Now let me ask, is there anybody here? There are some people under the sound of my voice. God said you'll be great. But what is fighting you is like he want to draw you down. Now, let me tell you. I said it in this house the other time. I said, the best time to pray is when things is already working out for you. Because the power that stopped you before can still spoil the blessing. But thank God for God who is greater than what is after us. But you must say something. If you don't say something, heaven will not do anything. He said, whatever I hear you say, thou shall I do for you. But altars, hear this altar, altar. Some people thought that when you fight altar of your father's house once and conquer, you have been liberated and you don't need to revisit it. No. Even when you have conquered it, you must stand your ground to maintain your deliverance. So Jacob had to cut corner. Then after cutting corner to get the greatness, yet when he ran after out of his father's house, what happened? Do you know after the, that blessing in Genesis 27 verse 41 verse 41 Esau hate, Esau hated Jacob because of what? Look at it. Because of what? We are with his father. Bless him. Jacob, no be papa give me. He said, no, you didn't get it right. Now put it back. I want to show you something. And Esau said to his, in his heart, the days of mourning of my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother. There are many of us, even our own family will not get peace. Now Jacob ran, left the house. The mama said, wrong, wrong. Go to my brother's house. Go hide yourself. Your brother the, the, no, will kill you. Go, run out of this house. Go, my brother's house, to go and stay there. What happened? When he left his brother's house, he went into his mother, he, he, into another battle. In the quest of running for safety, he ran into another one. Many of us now so from one battle to the other. At times you go say this house no good. You don't know say what you see there now. Baby problem. You now enter the other side. You see another day, day problem. Somebody holler the blood of Jesus. Now when Jacob left Genesis chapter 29 verse 12. What happened? He uh, Look at the man who ran. <laughs> Genesis 29 12. And Jacob told Rachel. And he was his father's brother. That he was Rebekah's son. And he ran and told the father. Now that was when he left home. He saw Rebekah. And when he told the father, say, I saw one of our cousins. Jacob thought that at least I have left my father's house. Let my brother's anger come down. But he never known another problem. Lift up your hand and say, oh, child, the father. 2023 will be far better for me. Every endless battle in my life must come to an end. Put amen if you agree. Sit down. Now look at verse 15. Verse 15. And Laban said unto Jacob, Because thou art what? My brother. 
should they thou therefore serve me for not tell me what I shall what shall be what shall thy wages be Jacob said okay let me serve you let me stay here the brothers, the, the Laban said don't serve me for free tell me what you want me to give you as you serve me let's negotiate and Jacob thought that he had seen a helper look at verse 18 verse 18 and 19 and Jacob loved Rachel because Jacob entered there and said okay let me cook up and marry the daughter and he said I will serve you how many years seven years for thy younger daughter because Rachel happened to be the younger one Leah happened to be the first one now look at verse 19 and Laban said it is better that I give her to the here good agreement I give her than that I should give her to another man abide with me. And Jacob began to serve him. Believing that what we have said, agreement is agreement. But look at verse 23. We are not running somewhere now. Look at it. I want to watch this. Verse 23. And it came to pass after seven years. In the evening that he took Leah, his first daughter, and brought it to him and went unto her. And he went unto her. He denied. He told Jacob that said, after serving, Jacob said, okay, give me Rachel, the woman I serve. Give her to me. I think I'll serve you. Laban said, wait. We know they give woman for afternoon. Now, nah, nah. our culture, we know they give her to woman for afternoon. You know, every, every tradition have their way. Jacob said, no problem. But so far, you give her. He said, he denied. Open your door, dad. Don't pull light, oh. We will package her and give you. And the Laban went and told Leah, said, you know in our culture, the first must marry before the... Because I perceive Leah had been telling the, telling the father, said, so you agree? Why not tell this young man the truth that Rachel cannot marry when I never marry? Papa said, don't worry. Maybe the Baba Nami won't give out. Now, you know what paid me? Not what Laban did. Red, this man ran, left one trouble from house. He can't see another one. <laughs> oh, somebody shout the blood of Jesus be loud and clear. <laughs> Leah said that. He said, don't worry. Now me be your papa. I know what to do. So, Jacob entered house. Slim. Open door down. Did as the father-in-law said, we don't get problem. I think that we had agreement. And he packaged a woman. And he called Leah and said, now you want to go. No talk. Who say there. And according to their law, he said, if they don't break, meet the woman. He don't marry and be that. And how can you not say they gave you the wrong one? Woman where they cover face. And he no talk. Light no dead that house. How you go take no that in a wrong package? So when they break now, Jacob smiled to see the face of Rachel. And he shocked. Now lay and I they greet and good morning, sir. Yes, sir. What are you doing? Sir, I'm the woman you serve for. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Read the next verse. Look at the next verse. And it came to pass in the morning. Behold, it was Leah. And he said unto Laban, What is thee that thou hast done unto me? Did not I serve thee with for rich Rachel? Wherefore then hast thou beguiled me? Look at 26. Put 26. Leah, Laban, Jacob said, you know, you don't try. You'll be my mama brother. Oh. And Laban said, it must not be so. Done in our country. <laughs> so, to give the younger before the firstborn. And I perceive Rachel. If you read that, Jacob said, but why you didn't tell me? He said, I thought you know. I think you supposed to ask your mama before you come. Now, now, I say, lay away there here. I don't like it. He said, no, you go marry that one. For that one, you don't marry and finish. Because as long as they don't break, meet them for your house. They know they reject them. They know they return them. Mm. Many of us, people have never been fed to us. At times, you ask, why people, they treat me like this? Check your foundation. You didn't hear what I said. 
At times, people go promise you heaven and earth when they don't get. If they get, they go the wrong for you. Check your foundation. Anywhere you go, battle, meet battle. Check your foundation. Maybe God has helped you. You have come to some certain level, but you will still be seeing the trace of it. My dear, don't ignore it. Deal with that power. Why you are dealing, number one, is to conquer. It. Number two, is that your children will not repeat that fight. Every genuine parent want to free their children. Am I talking to somebody here? Lift up your right hand. I speak over your life. The battle your parent did not win one. You yourself, you win that battle. The battle that conquer your own father, conquer your mother, conquer your mama generation. Receive grace to win that battle. You will bring light into that house. You will not remain like this. Let me hear me like thunder. Sit down. Ah, Jacob was. Why? Many of us, it has been like that. Even at times you leave shop, enter another shop, you still see the same character from where you are coming from. And that's when that's a place. Some people say to greet you, you look as if you are dragging something with them. And these are people you don't know. Switch your hand to this altar. I decree over your life. May the Lord give you grace to conquer that battle. Switch your hand, shout the Father. Anywhere they are holding what belongs to me. Any altar dragging me back. I pull myself from their control. Let me hear amen three times. Sit down. Jacob said no. Now, if you read verse 28 of that scripture, and Jacob did so and fulfilled her week and gave it, and he gave him Rachel. Okay, let's wait. Let's go back again. Verse 20, 26. And Laban said, it must not be so to be done in our country to give the younger before the fall. Then verse 27. Fulfill her week and we will give thee this also for service. We that shall serve with me yet another seven, seven years yet seven other years. You know what happened? He told Jacob, if you, want, if you still want Rachel, I will give you. But take that one as your first wife. That was how Jacob married daughter of, two daughters of one man. He said, serve me again. Make I give you another wife. Jacob had no option. Because where his mind was, it was Rachel. But what he got. Now let me ask you. You under the sound of my voice. All those things you have been praying and expecting. How many have come through the way you planned it? It's a question now. Those things you have been dreaming, those your aspiration in life, how many has come out 100%? Even when you make effort, even when you try, put effort, have you gotten it 100%? If you have not, my dear, there is battle you need to deal with. Jacob targeted to get Rachel, but what he got is Leah. Many of us, that is how you have been. After serving many years, instead of Rachel, they will give us Leah. Leah is a wanted product. But Rachel was the real dream. Many of us, after we dream big, we come out with nothing. If it's an altar, it must break. Yeah. One of the things that... Now, before we pray, watch this. Go to the last, the next scripture. The next verse. With verse 28. And Jacob did so and fulfilled her week. And he gave him Rachel, his daughter, to be to wife also. Now watch this. Genesis 29. Now look at 31. 31. Look at 31 now. 
That chapter 29. Watch this. Jacob, after when he got it, wait, wait. That's, that's not what I, Genesis 29, 31, but wait. Now, after he got the wife of her dream, which was, who now? Battle didn't finish. After he got Rachel, another battle showed up. Look at 31. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened the womb, he opened her womb, but Rachel was married. The woman he was dreaming, he sat for 14 years. He married her, he no fee born. He, he no fee born. Leah gave birth five times. Rachel never conceived. Chapter 30, verse 1. Even Rachel become, carry what give Jacob. Chapter 30, verse 1. Genesis 30, verse 1. Le kwadu no keruru mo ndi madana na muya hanya miri echu wo nu manya gibu papa nwere biko le nu manya gibu mama mo bika chupola me In chapter 30 verse 1. And when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said to Jacob, give me children or else I die. Now, the thing I want to beg you is this. No matter the battle you are going through, mind what comes out of your mind. Because after Rachel let her have children, no, but she didn't stay alive to train those children. I will go in, I will come into that another time. He, because he said, if you know, if you know, give me, I want that. Yes, okay. It was still that unwanted woman that took over the house. I bow my knee. May your dreams never be wasted. Yeah. Sit down. Now, look how here I'm going to conclude it today. That battle that has been from hand to hand. That anywhere you go, you notice that things does not work. I have a friend years back. God bless him. But it is, I discovered one thing. The, the time we are too close. He make money. But what he was losing was more than what that was in his hand. Every day something must happen for him to lose money. So one day I decided to pray for him. I didn't tell him. As I prayed, fasted. The Lord said she warned him. That is not praying enough. He's a believer. And the Lord told me that he should begin to deal with others. Now let me tell you when you want to deal with others, number one is your life. You must not live like other people. I'm coming to, I will show you how to pull yourself from the altar but not today. Because one of the standards is that you must separate from them. Because before God made Abraham a separate man, Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, he said come out of your father's house. You must separate yourself. Number two, prayer becomes your life. Don't tell me say things are working. Let me tell you the best time to pray now when things are working for you. God, the same people who don't want you to see food on your table, that's the time they will rise and become an enemy. Number three, keep let your seed. Most times you are dropping your seed on the altar, not just for you. At times include the name of your children. What I went through, they will not repeat it. Many of you suppose have come to school, do better, but because the family you came from, they denied you. They didn't deny you that, that. They denied you that. But they couldn't help you. Mama go tell you, say, see my hand. A young boy told him, Papa said, I, would, I wanted to be a doctor. Papa said, no, go learn mechanic. Why? Papa no get it. Condition draw him back. And when you come from some family, you must not keep quiet. You must not take it easy. In Genesis, it was snake. That came to trouble Adam and Eve. But in Revelation, what did the Bible call it? He called it dragon. The snake they could not kill in Genesis become a dragon. So I told him, I prayed. And the Lord said, I should tell him. The Lord said, I should ask him. 
Did his own father not make money when 504 they rain? So I called him and asked him. He said, Yes, when 504 was raining, say, Papa, buy it here. And the papa, you know, at that time, no get money for bicycle. And God told me that if you don't take time, he will labor, labor, finish. At the time, he's supposed to be resting. Things will fall off. May that never be your portion. Yeah. Have you not heard some people before? He say, I began money before. Every one of you under the sound of my voice, may that never be your story. Yeah. You never hear some people tell you, say, when will not be moto for Nigeria? I buy tia rubber. Now, tia rubber bicycle, you know, if you even second hand bicycle, your past look as if it's better than your tomorrow. This is what all the battles can keep a man. When I told her, my friend, he said, I don't like this, your message. He said, we are close, but this message, I don't like us, okay. And something later happened. He now ran to me and said, well, I said, but I will tell you that there's battle ahead of you. You have to deal with it. He wanted, he wanted to commit suicide because another one happened. But I called him. One day we went to camp. We prayed. And I told him, I said, number one, make sure you pay your tithe. Number two, let your prayer with, your prayer life don't even give space, but your covenant with God, don't play with it. Number three, make sure you live a good life as a child of God. And I began to show him things. He agreed. And we joined faith in the camp. We pray God said so should tell him that he will gather a couple and turn it to millions. And I told him, I said, right. You believe me, sir? I believe the call of God upon you. We prayed. And by the grace of God today, he's a blessed man. What I'm telling you should be 1999. And today we are close. Even though he's not a member of Remai, but he respects respect me so much. Open that your hands. Any battle that have been following you from your mother's womb that said you cannot see light, you cannot find peace, you cannot see happiness. Today, I disconnect you from that battle. Number two, I pray. Your children will not repeat this fight. Did you hear what I said? Let it be that where you failed, they are favored. Where you could not enter, they entered. What stop you? They get to that junction because you have dealt with that thing. They didn't, they didn't say it. Now, a young boy has the, everybody stand up. Has a father question. He and the father was walking on the street and a, 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 a man passed with a big car and cleared. Why did they greet the papa? And two of them, you know, greeted like an old time friend. And the man dashed this boy, Papa Money, and the and the father, they are walking, tricking. And the boy, and the, the boy's father was telling the, his son, he said, you see this man? He said, he's my classmate. <laughs> he said, that time, I used to teach him. He's not that sharp in learning. He said, see him now. He's a rich man. The son was listening. After the papa talked, finished, how he was helping this one when they were in classroom, teaching him. That the one who came with vehicle now doing well in business no sabi book like that the son said papa no verse those your knowledge where you can't get what was the outcome of it <laughs> who knows sabi book seafood the chop with the whole book where you sabi hunger the beaters papa said that insult my dear not be insult now question am i called talk to me because if papa, if papa say, now me the teacher say the man knows that he, now he that should be the teacher at that time. But now who they teach each other now? And the boy, tell, papa talk, the boy tell him, papa say, no, don't repeat this thing again. I'm ashamed to hear this. With all the whole knowledge you have, yet you couldn't find your way anywhere. But the one way he say, now it's a body for class. He's making waves everywhere. So does it mean that knowledge is no money then? Or knowledge is a sign of failure. No, the answer is that there is an altar that can, there are many stars that are covered. Lift up your hand, shout the blood of Jesus three times. Shout it, my star will never be covered. Every hand covering my star from shining. Break! Open your mouth, turn it open.
In Jesus name we pray. Now, we are going to pray this prayer before I go into my main prayer this morning. Since they gave birth to you till now as a man, as a woman, how do you find things easier? How things did they work for you? Some even travel out thinking say that Nigeria be their problem. They reach there and Nigeria come better pass abroad. There are many of us who things never work for us the way it work for others. There are some young ladies who believe that they are, they are up and doing, they are this, they are that. But at times you see some ladies who believe you are, you are far better than they are ahead of you. Talk to me. The question now is that what is wrong with me? The answer is a check from your foundation. And you under the sound of my voice, you notice it that since they born you, even when you dream, plan things, you know they work out. The way it works for others easily, you it, it was only by even after sweat, yet he end to zero. Run to the altar. If you are like such person, come, go to, come to the altar, put your knee on the ground. Hana ma yoga yole. Do not allow me. Lift up your hands, sing it. Do not allow. Me. Do not allow me. Do not allow me. Do not allow me, Jesus, to go empty. Now listen. Look at the prayer I wanted to pray. Listen, follow me. The day they gave birth to you, who bet you the first bet? Who touched you? You can't answer that question. Even your mama may not even remember. Number two. When a woman gave birth to a child, there is something that followed that baby come out. What do they call it? Your placenta, where is it and where do they kept it? A man carried me one day. He never knew I'm a, a, a servant of God. I was traveling to Podakot. That day I was supposed to travel with my people. And I decided to go alone. They said, nobody. I said, that's the way I'm led. They, they chartered me vehicle from here. On my to really the vehicle spoiled. I chartered another one. The man was carrying load. While we are talking, he turned and asked me, sir, are you a pastor? I said, yes. He was talking. I said, your problem is a family problem. He said, how you tell no? That was when he asked me, are you a pastor? I said, yes. You know what he told me? He said that he went to see a man of God two weeks before he met me. Who told him? He said, go and ask your my papa, the papa, your placenta, your navico. And this man is about 43 years, man. He go ask him, papa, papa, save and put somewhere. Wait till you take and they do. Shout the father. Every foundational battle. Following me from the womb. I can see it. Before this altar this morning, in the name of Jesus, I command this battle to her. Whatever that followed me from my mama womb, that will be following me till today, I disconnect. Open your mouth, pray. 